Hello everybody, I'm just going to make this video to quickly show you how to set up your IPTV stalker. So the first thing you want to do is you want to turn on your XPMC or Kodi. And what you want to do next is you want to go into your video add-ons. So videos, video add-ons. Click OK on that. Next thing you want to do is you want to scroll down through the add-ons that you have and you want to locate your IPTV stalker. Now with your remote control, okay, you want to press the menu button. That's the first thing you want to do. And go into add-on information. Okay. You should have the 1.2.0 version or the later one. Okay, there is a new release that has been released uh, recently. Okay, now either one of those is okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, they should update on their own. Uh, if they don't update on their own, usually you'll have an option down here saying update. So you can manually run that update by going to add on information. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to, to go your, to your IVTV stalker. Press the menu button again, and we are going to go to add-on settings this time. So under add-on settings, you're going to have these options right here under portal one. Uh, the name uh, could be NFPS or it could be something else. It doesn't matter what the name here. Okay, that's irrelevant. Uh, but the URL down here, you want to make sure that you have uh, portal.iptv private server.tv okay now you can if it's not there you could always click OK on that and just basically put whatever you want right here and once you're done you click done now the next thing you want to do okay is you want to go click custom Mac address so you want to check that okay and then you're gonna go click on the Mac you're going to delete whatever you have because that's not going to work. Whatever that comes with it is not going to work. So you want to just delete that. Okay. And the MAC address that you have received should start with 00, 1A, 79, and then another three set of numbers. So just for the sake of showing you how, so you're going to, we're just going to put 00, zero 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 so it should look something like this okay now once you enter the codes that you have received okay uh, it should look like that so it's a set of six uh, it's six sets of numbers basically so well it's a combination of numbers and letters so it depends on what you have there so once you do that you want to click done okay and then you want to check the send serial number and then press OK. All right. Now, once you do that, what you're going to go do, OK, is you're going to click OK on the IPTV stalker and it should open up like this. Now, before you click OK on the IPTV stalker or on the NFPS, you want to click your menu button. OK and you want to clear the cache I would clear the cache two three times okay uh, so we're gonna clear the cache two three times okay now once that's done you're gonna go ahead and press OK on the NFPS okay now if it gives you authorization failed like this then that's okay what you need to do is you need to go back clear the cache again three four times again okay it just because this way you get rid of the old information with the old number old number that was there old Mac number uh, because that one will prevent it from working so you're gonna do that clear that a couple of times click OK on that now just keep in mind that mine is not working because the code I have is not working I know that but the code you receive is actually active and working so you will not have this problem at all
Okay. Uh, so again, we're going to clear cache two or three times. Once we do that, we'll press on the NFPS, and then that should open up, and it's going to give you a list. Returning visitor. Sorry about that. Okay, so now once that's done, you open up, and you'll have a list of uh, different options. So you'll have all channels, and then it breaks it down into categories. So you'll have, um, let's say, sports, uh, education, culture, entertainment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You click on what you want, and you should be able to open it and watch whatever you like. I hope this video was helpful. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, and I'll do the best I can to help you. Thank you.